Thank you for tuning in to Terry's Swoop videos. And this is a top 10 video of the greatest female figure skaters of all time. Now the top 10 is gonna be based on career achievements. Who won the most championships? Who won the most medals? That's what it's gonna be based on. It's not gonna be based on who was the most popular, who was the best at a certain move. It's not gonna be based on that. It's gonna be solely based on career achievements. Coming in at number 10 on the list is Christy Yamaguchi. Christy is a two-time world champion and an Olympic gold medalist. She won the Olympic gold medal in 1991. Coming in at number nine on the list is Tanya Hardy. Now, a lot of people are gonna say she should be ranked higher than number nine, but you have to base this on career achievements, not on certain moves. She was the first American woman to land a triple axel. But if you look at her career achievements, she never won any world championships. I'm putting her at number nine solely based on talent. She was a great skater. She had some of the greatest talent in the history of the sport, but she wasn't good at performing under pressure. If you look at the 1994 Olympics, she choked under pressure. And that's the reason why she's ranked number nine on the list. Coming in at number eight on the list is Saria Benali. Saria is one of the greatest skaters of all time. She was born and raised in France. And she's the only female skater in history to do a backflip and land on one blade. Now, the reason why she's at number eight is because she, she fumbled a lot during the Olympics. She's a five-time European champion, but when it came to the Olympics, she buckled under pressure. And this is why she's number eight on the list. If I was basing the list on talent alone, she would be number one on the list. But you have to base the list on career achievements and not just talent alone. Most historians don't have Saria ranked in the top 10 all time. But on my list, she deserves a top 10 spot. I believe she's one of the top 10 greatest skaters of all time. Coming in at number seven on the list is Yuna Kim from South Korea. She's Olympic gold medalist and a two-time world champion. And she's only the third woman in history to land a triple axel. Coming in at number six on the list is Peggy Fleming. Peggy was a popular skater during the 1960s. She won the Olympic gold medal in 1968. And she's also a three-time world champion. Coming in at number five on the list is Nancy Kerrigan. Now, Nancy is most popular for the attack that happened to her in the 1990s. Now, she's a great skater, but a lot of people are gonna say she's ranked too high on the list. But she's one of the greatest skaters of all time. I believe she's a top five greatest skater of all time. And I think most historians are gonna say Nancy is a top five skater of all time. She's a two-time world champion, and she's a silver medalist in the 1994 Olympics. She probably would have won the 1994 Olympics if it wasn't for the attack that caused her injury.
Coming in at number four on the list is Aksana Bayou. Now this woman is a legend. She became the youngest woman in history to win a gold medal at the Olympics. At 16 years old, in 1994, she won the gold medal. And she's also a two-time European champion and a two-time world champion. She was always a great performer. She brought so much emotion to her performances. And this is what made her one of the greatest of all time. Coming in at number three on the list is Dorothy Hamill. Dorothy was a very popular skater during the 1970s. She won an Olympic gold medal in 1976. Dorothy was also a three-time U.S. champion. She was always a very graceful, beautiful skater. Now tied for number three is Barbara Ann Scott. Now she's from Canada. And what makes her so legendary is she's the first woman in history to win multiple gold medals in skating. She's the first woman in history to win multiple world championships in Canada, in Europe, in America. She almost won championships in almost every country in the world. This woman is legendary. Any person that does a top 10 list has to have Barbara Ann Scott on that list. This woman is beautiful, she's legendary, and she deserves more credit. At number two on the list is Sonya Henney. What makes Sonya Henney such a legendary figure skater is she's the first person to bring techniques and moves to the sport. Before the 1920s, figure skating was just looked at as a measuring stick. They just measured how much you skated. They didn't measure your technique. They didn't measure your moves. She's the person that brought moves and techniques and style to the sport. She brought showmanship to the sport. She's the reason why the sport is so popular today. She's a 10-time world champion and she's a three-time Olympic medalist. She's won more medals than any figure skater in history. Outside of skating, she was also a huge movie star in the 1930s and 40s. She died from leukemia in 1969 at the age of 57. Now for the number one greatest figure skater of all time, Michelle Kwan. Michelle Kwan is hands down the greatest figure skater of all time. And the reason why I have her ranked at number one is because she has the best combination of career achievements and talent. Michelle has the second most medals in history behind Sonya Henney. The reason why I have her ranked higher than Sonya Henney is because she has more raw talent than Sonya Henney ever had. Michelle is a six-time world champion and a six-time U.S. champion. Any historian on figure skating will tell you that Michelle Kwan is hands down the most talented, decorated figure skater in the history of the sport.